What's a Kahoot? I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us up. Yeah, so put a cork in it. Shit. Sit still. Follow you. You come with me. They sure are acting very odd. Like there's, there's like, there's no demands being made. There's no like anything. It's just like, hey, what's going on? Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything, anything fishy, and there be consequences. Get it? Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Oh, the <laughs> compass gets all. Yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. ship. Holy crap. That's that guy that fell down out of the porthole in the beginning of the game and snapped his neck on the boat on the life raft and he was just still there. Skeleton. Well, you seem to have already suffered a casualty. Damn. That was a bold move. Not smart, but bold. Hey! <sighs> yeah. Well, I guess poor Connie is dead. Feels bad. I kind of really would like to have known what the story was like with him getting away, going to the coast and coast guard and stuff. But I guess we'll just have kind to deal with this. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads all that glitters. It's meant to make you feel guilty, Kuko. It's meant to make you feel have guilty. You heard that tone. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. So now we have our actual cast of characters, which is the three freaking bad dudes and a bunch of good dudes. So it's no, it's no longer trying to save everybody. It's almost like three factions now. It's, I like I like that. Interesting. Wow, brave. Stupid, but brave. Well, same thing. Probably an explosive, I'm guessing. He's got bare feet and he's going in that rusted frickin' bucket. Oh, I guess she's got bare feet too. Well, I hope you guys don't mind tetanus. Alright, before we advance any further, I gotta pee before I pee my pants. So, I'll be right back in just a minute, taking a quick uh, restroom break. That's right, I forgot. Adam, Adam Sandler said peeing your pants is cool. I forgot about that. Dang, I guess I'll never be cool. So far, this game is pretty good. I like how uh, I like how it's it's different than Until Dawn in, in that the people that you have with you, <laughs> they're not just your friends. They're some people you want to get rid of. So it's going to be interesting to see how I... It's gonna be interesting to see how the interactions are, opportunities to, you know, take these dudes out or or whatever. So I'm pretty pretty excited to see. Um, although I will say that I think I prefer games like Resident Evil more, just because it's spooky and it's got a little more gameplay. But these games are really cheap. Like this was like fifteen dollars or something. So it's it's like going to the theater, you know. But you get a little bit more out of it than just a movie. So. Let's keep going. Mattered. Jesus. Go on, keep moving. 
et il norme son navire. Cet endroit, c'est un foutu cimetière. J'espère qu'on est les seuls ici. <laughs> well, it'd be really odd if you weren't the only ones here, I think. Well, okay. All right then. I guess he just announced our presence to everybody. But I just wanted to get a little information. This whole place is a floating <laughs> death trap. Hey, hey. <gasps> oh, now she's in front of me. I wonder if that changes things. Oh no. Okay, I guess she it's stops. Moving. Her charm bracelet. of madness I did not sign up for a trip to creep down oh I can go in there I think yeah that's kind of hard to see this is really weird shading you know it's kind of it's kind of been pushing me along but I want to try and Miller oh what are these guys gonna do with us now I um I think I might be able to, like, this is an opportunity, you know? They're not, like, sitting, hovering over me. Maybe I can find, like, a knife or something. Nope. Oh, there is a knife right there. It looked like it was hanging down. Oh, it's a cross. Wonder how long it'll be till they start treating me like hostages? Probably forever. Or at the very least, until the creature on this ship that's, I'm sure, is present starts killing them. I wonder if there are people that, if there are people that I can actually keep alive as well, or not. It'll be, I'm really interested in seeing how this goes. Oh shit! Didn't scare me that time, stupid rat. Nothing can scare me. I'm the unscarable. Internal memorandum. You're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He's sick again, conveniently. It's always when he has guard duties in the hold 3 a.m. First 2400. Check the chart for rotation. Again, this is the third time this week. None of us, none of us like it down here. Maybe Patterson should buck up. Just get on it. <laughs> Before water went to go, yeah, it'd be a wet to go. When to splash? <laughs> when to swim? Go. Osan, you're about to see. Okay, all of you, into the room. No game made you feel guilty for messing up QTEs. Yeah, but that's not the point, Kuko. The game make, is meant to make you feel guilty with the little like intermission dialogue. Like, oh, you killed him. How could you do that? It's like, it wasn't my fault. What the heck? But they don't care. That's, you still feel guilty. I feel guilty, even hey, though I know it's not my fault. It's pitch black in here. But that's human emotion, right? Give us the light. I didn't expect the final QTE. I thought it was good. This fucking place. Mm, let's take some action. Well, whatever this ship is, we gotta start figuring out how to get the fuck off of it. 
So what's the standard nautical protocol for being kidnapped and imprisoned on an abandoned hell ship? <laughs> we can't just sit around. We need a plan. Conrad went to get us help. We should wait for him. Um, we need coordinates first. Well, I hope he figures out how to get himself to our new coordinates. I'm worried about Conrad. He took a bullet while we were making our great escape. He's fine. He'll be fine. So, what's the status of the Duke? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap. Makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that, um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. Yeah, but if they, they gave us a light. Yeah. I, I still with him. Translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I. Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. I'm not so sure. Cool. If they didn't care about us as as prisoners, they wouldn't have given us a light. But if they were working together with Fliss, then they'd feel like, hey, we need to give her a light. Like the fact that they're not being super mean to us as prisoners leads me to believe that what he said actually is kind of this has is some truth to it. Very strange. It's just old spectacles. The fact that they're on the still uh, still on the, the table is pretty remarkable. Of course, they're very light. So. <sighs> Paper again. Document. This guy, Miller. I seemed pretty spooked. Ms. J. Rivera, apartment 2, 275 Lockwood Drive, Crescent Springs, Cincinnati, Kentucky. Alex? Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers, but don't worry. Keeping everything ready for you if I catch my drift. <laughs> wow. How's work? Hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away, and I want to keep you safe. I get uh, get a lot of time to think think while I'm guarding the cargo holds. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe too. I will be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic. We can get married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. We're just, you're just gonna tell him, tell him how much. Love you much, Miller. Yeah, I think Brad is kind of like the Jessica, where he's gonna come back and it's like, hey, he's here. That's a picture. That's a forewarning picture thingy, maybe? He's a doggy. Ship mascot, aw. It's the SS, it's just the SS. Ooh, 
At least they have a, we have a, their hey. intent and motive now, finally. I found this letter that was never sent. Okay. Well, it said there were rumors about figures roaming around the cargo. Figures? You want to be more specific? Look, I'm not really sure what he meant. All I know is that I just get this really creepy feeling like something terrible happened here. Something is wrong. I don't like it. I don't like a single thing about this place. Not at all. I found this note. It was back in the bunk room. So it says that this guy... Patterson? Kept playing sick, getting out of guard duty when he was supposed to be in the hold. Hmm. I guess he did it like a bunch of times. Anyways, it, it doesn't seem like anyone liked it too much down there. So what I'm gathering is the crew... Man, they were pretty creeped out by whatever the hell they were carrying on this ship. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Mm. Back on the June, Hope they finish me them off. What the hell? Manchurian gold? <laughs> I really don't think they had any of this planned until the gold caught their attention. We need to watch them closely. This could go from bad to worse if they don't find what they're looking for. So, what do we do? Find a way out of the room first. Look, we need to either find a way out of this room, or we need to be ready to make a move when those fishermen come back. Okay, well, we're not going to do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. That's what I just said! Just be careful. Oh, found a way out. Huh. Hey, look, look at this. That's going to be really loud. Come on. A newspaper. I wonder why they all left it behind. American overseas gangland. Lost gangland? Worst gangland? Killing of 1947. Archaeologists missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zaragoza Mountains of Iraq. The Hodgson expedition arrived in the Kingdom of September last year with the stated goal of unearthing the. Yes. Unearthing the. Indeed. I, I think that's a good idea. Stripped. Not going to work that way. Maybe we can find a stick or something. Maybe the glasses can do something. Ah, oh, the glasses aren't gonna help us. What do you think? I can't get it open. Over here. The best gangland killing of 1947. Yeah, there we go. It's the best. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Mm, this is the way out. Yeah, this is the way out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Loud. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Mm, barricade. I think loud is a rest or a, uh, being loud is a. Can I get some help with this? A risk. the door doesn't open in it opens out from what I could tell
Those are hard. Remember, Stop. it is pitch black. Remember, they said that. Gotta be some stairs around here. Unless we just happen around them again randomly, you know. Traits updated. Altruistic, relaxed, excited, cunning. <clears throat> More another document. Probably a medical report or something. It's gonna explain what's going on. All ship personnel, extra guard duty regulations due to the special security precautions on this ship. Additional procedures must be adopted by soldiers on guard duty. Double guard duty on all doors, <clears throat> on all watches. No talking, no playing of games, no smoking, alcohol, or gambling. Guard personnel found breaking into these regulations will be met with the strictest, a sternest of punishments, up to and including court martial by order of Captain Ford. Guys, nobody's allowed into 3A. Seriously, nobody. Uh-oh. 3A. 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 Remember 3A. Don't go into 3A. Like, don't. Just don't. Just don't go into 3A. Got it. <sighs> okay. Probably locked. I had a... I hope this isn't 3A. Jeez, maybe this is what scared everyone off. What is it? It just looks like uniforms. La oh, laundry, I get it, yeah. <laughs> oh man, too much laundry to do. I'm out of, I'm abandoning ship. <laughs> oh. Ah, you freaking rat. Sneaky little rat. More laundry. Nothing, just a laundry room. Get out of here, get, get, jeez. You know what was kind of spooky about uh, Until Dawn? It's like every time you went outside, even though there was like a clear path, it just felt like anything could have been out there in that wilderness, you know? And this kind of feels like, hey. Vanished. It's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. It's not possible, right? Right. But this is like, as long as I feel safer if I'm in a hallway, you know? Cargo hold, out of bounds. Don't go to cargo hold two. I'm guessing I'll probably have to. Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of clipping in this. I don't know what it is about this one, but it just feels like until dawn. felt better but again this might just be the setup you know I don't know if the game's gonna take place on the ship or if it's like this is just the setup you know a ship like this is big enough to where the entire game could take place on it though nothing in here Anybody want to take a shower? No? Julia. You think Conrad's made it? He can be pretty resourceful when he puts his mind to it. That's also came out at $30 answer. compared to say, until well, $60 then, at launch. Sure. Interesting. I think Conrad's made it. Maybe they... Oh, great. I mean, it could just be a lesson, like... They knew a game like this shouldn't launch at $60 because it's more of a movie <laughs> game. Yeah. Yep. So. Big boat, big engine. This is the engine room, then I take it. If it's a room and there's an engine in it, I would imagine that would be the engine room. Just a thought. <laughs> 